Welcome friends, my name is Lindsay Samper and today I have a wonderful 10 minute morning yoga routine for you that's gonna help waken you up and feel energized and ready to start your day. So we're gonna begin by lying down on our backs. Coming down on your back, keep your knees bent. Feet hip distance apart. Take the arms out to the side. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh flexing through your right foot, and reach and grab behind the left thigh or on top of the left shin, drawing both knees in toward your chest. It's really important to keep both feet flexed here to help protect your knees. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out completely. One more deep breath in, just like that. Exhale out. And slowly release the feet down to the earth second side left ankle crosses on top of right thigh flex through the left foot and then reach through and grab behind the right thigh drawing both knees in towards your chest keep that left leg opening out to the side keeping your left foot flexed two deep breaths here relaxing your jaw relax your tongue relax your face slowly bo lower both legs back to the ground. Take your arms out to the side and draw your knees in towards your chest. Drop your knees over to the right side. You can also use your right hand on top of your left thigh. Reach through your left arm and turn your gaze over to the left side. Keep your breath in your belly. So with twisting sometimes it can be hard to breathe but keep the breath deep into your belly. Inhale, bring both knees back to center. Look at the other side, knees drop over to the left. And turn your gaze to the right side. And you can also use your left hand to support and grab onto your right thigh. It's okay if your right shoulder comes off of the floor a little bit, that's fine. But reach through the right arm. Deep breath in. Exhale, relax a little bit deeper. One more deep breath in. And exhale out. Come back to center. And roll over to your side to come up to seated. And come to the front of your mat. Straighten your legs out. Press your hands down into the earth by your thighs. Lift your chest up. Flex through your feet. Spread your toes. Lift your sternum up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the tops of your thighs. Activate your legs. And then bend your knees generously. Inhale, reach your arms up. And on your exhale, fold forward, connecting your belly with your thighs. You can grab onto your feet or maybe have your hands on the floor. But keep a nice, generous bend in the knees. It's early in the morning. Maybe you can let your head and neck drop down. As you inhale, feel the whole back body expand. And then exhale out completely. One more breath, just like that. Inhale in. And exhale out. Good. Slowly rise up. Cross your legs. Inhale, reach both arms up to the ceiling. On your exhale, take the right hand down. Reach the left arm over. You can keep your right hand on the ground, or maybe you can even take your right elbow to the ground. Reach through your left arm. Straighten the left elbow. And then let the right ear drop down to the right shoulder. Let it go completely. See how much you can let go in your neck. Keeping your neck exactly where it is with no effort. Turn your left palm towards the ground and start reaching the left arm out to the side, towards the ground, and then find a nice sweet spot. So you're really stretching through the left arm, right ear resting down towards the right shoulder. Good, slowly inhale, come all the way back up to center. Inhale, bring the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, take them back and down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand over, right arm reaches to the side. Again, you can keep the left arm straight or you could take the elbow down towards the floor. Really reach through the right arm and then let the left ear drop down towards the left shoulder. We hold so much tension and effort in our neck. See how much you can release. How much can you let go? 
and then start to take the right arm over to the right side, palm facing the earth, stretch through the right arm. Keep the head and neck exactly where it is, no effort. Reach through the right arm, find that sweet spot where you feel a nice stretch through the right side of the neck. Then inhale slowly to come back up. We'll come onto hands and knees now and take a couple of rounds of cat-cow. So with the shoulders over the wrist and the hips over the knees, on your inhale, drop your belly down, lift your chest, lift your gaze, press the ground away from you with your hands. On your exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, drop the chin towards the hip. Again, inhaling for cow pose, dropping the belly down, lifting the gaze. Exhaling, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, drop the head down. One more, just like that. Inhaling, cow. Exhaling, cat. Good. Come into plank pose. So walk your hands forward. It's really important to keep your fingers spread really, really wide. Maybe lift the knees up. If that's too much, then just keep the knees on the floor, and that's fine too. If you have your knees lifted, keep the tops of your thighs really strong and active. Press through your heels. Draw your belly in. Notice if your hips are really high or sinking really low and keep them in line with the rest of your body. Good, exhale back, downward facing dog. Your hands and feet stay exactly where they were. If you have tight hamstrings, you can keep your feet wide, even as wide as the mat. You can also have a little bit of a bend in the knees. Press your chest and your belly back towards your thighs. Let your head and neck relax down completely. Maybe you start to pedal the feet out. So straighten right knee down and then straighten left leg. So right leg stretches out while left knee bends. Left leg stretches out while right knee bends. Take a couple more just like that. And then bring the feet together. Come down to the knees and step your right foot in between your hands. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off of the floor. So take up space on your mat. Coming into our low lunge, from here, start to press your hips straight down towards the floor, but keep your back leg straight. So the back leg resists the movement, but the hips are trying to come down towards the floor. You should feel a nice stretch in the top of your left thigh. Keep doing that, hips sinking down, the back leg resisting, and then slowly start to bend your back knee all the way down to the floor. Untuck your left toes. Inhale, reach the arms up and back. So the hips are sinking forward, the arms are reaching up, maybe even the gaze is up. Good, exhale, hands down to the floor. Tuck your back toes again. Get strong in your legs. Walk your hands up your thigh, slowly coming all the way up to high lunge. Reach your arms up over your head. Really important to make sure that your knee is over your ankle and not in front of your ankle. Arms reaching up, make the back leg really strong and then open up to the side, warrior two. Left heel comes down, and the hips are facing the left side. Arms reach in both directions, and bend in your right knee. Look down, make sure you can see your big right toe. If your knee's blocking it, open it out to the side. Reach your elbow forward, take the elbow to the right thigh. Left arm reaches up to the sky, and then reach the left arm over your left ear. And even though your right elbow is on your right thigh, don't dump into it. Keep yourself lifted up. Reach through the left arm. Press your left foot strongly into the ground. And inhale, come back up warrior two. Windmill the hands down to the earth. Step the right foot back, plank pose. Come down to the knees. Left foot comes forward. And then tuck the back toes, lift the right knee off the floor, coming into a low lunge. And again, the hips start stink, sinking down towards the floor and your back leg resists. So the hips are sinking down, keep the back leg straight, and then very slowly with control, start to bend your back knee until it comes all the way down to the earth. Untuck your back toes, inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Hips are sinking down and forward, arms reach up towards the sky. Nice deep breath in, exhale, hands to the earth, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee off of the floor, get grounded in your foot, and then walk your hands to your left thigh, reach the arms up, nice strong lunge. Again, check your alignment with your left knee over your left ankle, arms reach up and back, keep the back leg nice and strong, deep breath in, 
Right heel down, open up to the side, warrior two. Left knee bending down. Look down, make sure you can see your big left toe. Reach your arms strongly in both directions. And then reach the left arm forward, take the left elbow to the right thigh. Right arm reaches up to the sky. And then reach the right arm over your right ear. Straighten through your elbow. Press your right foot into the earth. Make yourself really long. Then inhale, come back up, warrior two. Gazes over the front middle finger. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the floor. Step the left foot back, plank pose. Hold your plank pose for just a moment. Again, nice tight core, pressing back through the heels. Keep the tops of the thighs really active. And then lower the knees down. Lower all the way down to the belly. Keep the elbows close to the body. Squeeze the elbows together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Come all the way down to your belly. Forehead to the earth. Hands stay where they are. On your inhale, lift your chest up. Squeeze the elbows together. Use the muscles of your upper back to lift yourself up. Good. Exhale, lower down. Press all the way up. Child's pose. Toes together. Knees apart. Let the hips sink back towards the heels. Forehead comes down to the earth. Three deep breaths right here. Feel yourself connected to the earth. Feel yourself grounded and supported. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me this morning. If you'd like to learn more about me, you can visit my website at lindsaysamper.com. And be sure to subscribe to Psyche Truth for more videos just like this. Namaste.